All right, what we're gonna do is some chest loop. Derek and I are gonna go right lead. We're utilizing this tape line just for a reference points. Um, if I'm on the right lead, he's on the right lead. If I'm on the left lead, he's on this left lead. We can fight on this line, but a lot of times the reality is we'll be circling and all that stuff like that. But at some point, he's gonna be stationary and this is where we're gonna utilize one of these drills here. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a front cross shuffle and it's gonna change my alignment right now. Right now, if I go in closer and closer and closer, we're in that kind of reference position, right? Now I can have the backside that he's gonna keep turning. What I don't have is I don't have these open targets, but the more I get inside, I gotta worry about his punches and kicks too. But what I like to do is I like to get in the line here. Here I don't have a lot of options. Stuff gets blocked a lot with this side and that side leg. So I wanna to try to open myself up at a 45 degree angle here and try to get the bigger targets. Here's his bigger target, he's more squared. Here he's sideways, it's my smaller target. So in this drill, I wanna to try to go from him being a smaller target as well as myself to opening it up, doing a kick, getting out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be opening it up, I'm gonna take this leg and I'm gonna kind of set it out. This one will need to open up just a little bit, kind of like I'm gonna shuffle to the inside, cross the leg here. And once I have it crossed, you have three options. Option one is I can bring the knee up and I can whip it across at any line. Option two, if I'm gonna right knee, open it up, I'm gonna cross in front. I can just start turning my shoulders, turning my head. Now you're not allowed to do a spinning side fist or back fist, that's more Muay Thai, but I can do the revere or the reverse hooking type kick or the crescent kick, right? With the toe up, it's gonna be more the crescent moon kick. So once I'm here and I see my target, I can release this leg for the high revere frontal or frontal revere. Option three, I can open it up, cross the leg in front, turn the shoulders so I see what's going on and where my target is. If I wanna do a low line hook kick, I can still hook kick here or bring the knee up and then cook it around or, or mix it up. But what I really wanna do is I'm gonna spin around, just lift the knee up and then just pound it in, lock out that kneecap, go for the stomach or whatever. So the main three I want you to focus on is once I cross the leg in front, I spin around, I'm gonna do front toe revere. Movement two, from the right lead right now, open it up, cross in front. I want to do a chasse uh, lateral. Or option three, I'm gonna cross in front. I'm not gonna turn my shoulders back this way. I'm just gonna keep them here. I'm gonna take my back leg, bring the knee up, and then I'm gonna extend out into that whip kick with the toes. Derek will do the same thing to me. So it opens, crosses in front. There's his whip kick, his puente. He comes around again, crosses in front. He might do, turn his shoulders away from me like a spinning back fist, but then do a kick. I'll move out of the way so he can extend. And then one more time, back to right lead. Cross it, and then a front thrust with the spin, or side thrust with the spin, rather. There's the extension. Let's do it on the left lead. So left lead's here, hands are here. I don't wanna just cross like that. I wanna kinda of move, cross, this back leg is going to lift the knee up. Then we're going to extend and kick low, medium, or high. Oh. Second movement here in the left lead. Open slightly. Cross in front. Turn the shoulders and look. The leg closer to him. Slaps across the face or locks his guard down for a follow-up. And then movement three is going to be our chasse or side thrust. Cross. Turn. Knee comes up. Chasse lateral medium, or low line, ba, or o, high line, ba. Mix and match it. Derek will do it to me, he'll cross and front, he'll do a fuente, boom. He'll go back to left lead, open, cross in front, and either a rivia or a chasse lateral. One more, I'm gonna move back so he can do the rivia. There you go. Okay, so it takes flexibility. You gotta keep working it, but just in the fundamentals, start nice and easy like we're doing and just break the movements down.